Our um, file's just finished, and we're going to unzip it. Um, I just click on it inside Chrome. You can see that um, now when I get this, let's go ahead and search this. Why, why isn't it coming out? You can see that uh, it actually did come up. It just took a bit. I have a lot of files in my download. That's why. Now we have this public HTML folder now in here. We can actually just go in here, select all, and I'm going to open us up into a new tab and drag them into my new folder I just made. Let's actually open to this encoder. <coughs> we can go in and do this. Don't forget to delete that HTML folder if you did make it, or HTML file. Now we're going to do this, and now we're going to go ahead and test our site. We should get a database error, and that'll be um, just all right. Cool. This means that we're actually loading the WordPress scripts that are making the database error. So we're on the same page with everything. So the next thing is to connect things to our database, which is over here. We named our database Montrose, and MAMP, by default, um, gives a user called root password and we need a host a local host so this is where we need to go ahead and edit the WP config file so our database name is Matros our user according to MAMP was root our password is also root and our um, database host is um, localhost. So when I do this, now we're not going to get another error, which is going to be a redirection. So we're going to load this, or it's just not going to work. Let's try again. Let's see what we could have done wrong. So we have everything. Ah. It was a redirection error. So it did redirect. Now, it redirected to without a port. That's completely OK. Um, we just need to now change it in the database. So the easiest change to do is within WP options, we need to make sure our site URL, which is right over here, fits our new site URL. So we have the HTTP, and we're going to go localhost 888, and we're going to do this new directory. And I'm going to save that. Now we're going to go ahead and load this. Let's make sure that it's not in another file. Also have the home, which should also change. Let's try one more time. And you can see now it is changing. Now, the problem is, that various things aren't going to work. Okay, let's uh, go back. Let me show you why things aren't going to work. And the reason why things sort of work, and it's weird, is because it's still using files that are from maybe the dev site. So actually, Im images work, but um, that means that uh, maybe uh, links are linking to the wrong thing, and it's not really how you want to do things. So we're going to have to write a query that goes through and changes all these to our new domain. Now, 
I actually use this other site. Um, if you Google 13 useful WordPress um, SQL queries, I mean, it's like the, the best thing that ever happened uh, for SQL and, and WordPress. It teaches you just a few little things. It actually changes your site URL and home URL, the things you already did um, that are right in here. Um, but it also gives you other different queries to use for other different things, So, such as links. So let's go ahead and copy this. And we're going to go back into um, our PHP admin of localhost. And we're going to run a SQL command just by going in here. And we are going to type that, but make sure to type in the old URL, which looks like this. We can just hit up copy and paste. And change it to our new URL that looks like this. Now, usually I do a few at once, but for the time being, we're going to just do one at a time. I'm going to hit go. And you can see that 500, over 500 rows were affected. Now let's go ahead and redo this. And I'm pretty sure lots of images won't change, but links will. So let's look at what's happening in this link. You can see this link is changing, and we'll have to see why that's uh, not working in a second. But let's go ahead and also do a few other queries, maybe for the content within the site. And for a lot of the custom things, like maybe some plugins that um, don't work, you can't use these uh, custom queries um, because it just doesn't account for everything. So in those specific cases, you might have to go in um, to those uh, various plugins and change what you need. But it's not going to be a big deal. This will take care of 99% of your, your issues. So let's go ahead and do that. You can see that a lot of this has changed and it really um, made a big difference. Now let's go ahead and see why um, things like that aren't working. Now this is most likely a .ht access issue. So let's go back to our cPanel, our original cPanel, and see if maybe our .ht access file didn't get recorded. And if not, we can always generate a new one. Let's just generate a new one, because it looks like it's not being found. So let's go to our WP admin, and the nice thing about transferring this site is the login information should be the same as before. And it is, you can see that the login is just the same. It, it all works very nicely. Let's go ahead and go to permalinks. So it looks like the permalink is the problem. And let's just resave this. And what this will do is it'll recreate our .ht access file. Let's go ahead and open this up into a new tab. Let's see if our about us page now works. Look at that, it works just fine. We have it installed and it's very pretty. Now, what I like to do is to make sure that um, other URL that I'm transferring from isn't in here. I like to go into um, the view source and we simply want to look for our old URL. So it looks like there's a few things that are in here. So it looks like maybe right here the logo hasn't changed. It looks like um, there's this background URL that hasn't changed. So um, what this appears to be, and this is just from experience on working sites, these are theme options that need to be transferred. Um, so we can look in here and see if maybe there's anything in here that needs to be changed um, that we can do. We can try using the update post meta. Sometimes that'll solve some of our issues. So um, let's go ahead and, and run another query. And if this doesn't work, um, I do have a third thing that we can do. So let's go ahead and just 
try this. You can see that two rows were affected, so it did do something, but it doesn't appear to do as much as we need it to. So it's only, only a few. Now, most likely, it's in our theme options. So we can go in here, look for things, and sure enough, here is something that definitely didn't get changed. So we can either go into the database, try to find it on our own, or we could um, just change these automatically. Um, now, because these are some work, and everything's going to be different, um, I'm not going to go ahead and change all of them right now. Um, but you are able to redo every every one of these changes and make it so it's localhost. Anyway, this does conclude the tutorial on how to um, how to transfer a site um, using uh, MAMP, uh, and hopefully this does help. And it appears to be there's still like a few errors here and there. Let's try updating the page. Maybe that'll do the trick.